y'all. I'm Brushfire Windragon, and welcome to my channel. There's no specific rhyme or reason why Lost Constellation is my very first video, but we all have to start somewhere. Now, I wanted to do a clean playthrough for y'all, but I'm still new to this and it took me a while to figure out how to record. It turns out Windows even has its own recording program. Now, um, Lost Constellation is based on Night in the Woods, um, and it does take place in that world, and it flush but it flushes out some more of the lore. But, May is not the main character. She also is a little girl here, but she's not a part of the story, uh, uh, not a part of the gameplay at all. Um, I actually think I have a little bit in common with May because we were both recently college students, although I actually graduated, and um, she's kind of on the short side and doesn't really act her age. I can understand that because I guess I don't really look or sound or act my age either. I'm gonna rob the bank. <laughs> you wanna spend longest night in jail? Gonna rob them to death. That's, that's not how it works, May. They'll never catch me. There'll be time enough when you're older for felonies in jail. What's a felony? A bad thing they put you in jail for. Not if they don't catch me. Okay, how about a story before bedtime? A longest night story. Sure. But not a dumb one like Charity Barity. How about a ghost story? Ooh, yeah. Alright then. I hope lots of people die in it. Quiet, kid. I'm starting over here. Long ago, in the hills. And like I said, this ghost story does not focus on May. It focuses on Miss Adina here. I think she's an alligator. Because her name starts with A. But, like, reptiles don't get to be the good guys in media very much. Far from home here, alright? Could just go back. No. It's been a year, and you made a promise. Get a hold of yourself. You're not gonna die in there tonight. You're gonna see her again, and come back with a star. Which is why it's called Lost Constellation. I really like the uh, art style of this game. It's, it's um, kind of simplistic, but it's gorgeous. And, and I really like the snowballs. <laughs> wow, this fog is too thick. Weird fog. How do you get rid of weird fog? Go away, fog! Ugh, how do I get rid of you? The very first run through. I started throwing snowballs at the fog. <laughs> okay. Throw. It... Is throwing snowballs working? <laughs> It didn't work as much as well as I thought. Instead, you have to throw snowballs at these lovely bells up here, which is the reference to the main game. I like that they all have little faces. I do that a lot. There we go. This game has 
such lovely music. I, th I think the creators made all their own music, if I remember right. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I wonder if this water is frozen too. And there's this this cat. It's like all the characters are anthros, and then you just have this talking cat. Cat! Hey, cat! You live in this forest? Near enough. Can I ask you a question? You're going to die in there tonight. Wow, that is unhelpful. Is it? Where are you going tonight? Go away, cat. I like talking to the cat. Where are you going tonight? I vis I'm visiting my relations, but first I'll go to church. That sounds like your standard longest night. For church, I'll hunt up a bowl. And eat it. And before that, I'll watch you walk into the woods. To die. And before that, I'll say goodbye. Are you so sure? Yeah, I just can't get the purrs right. Well, goodbye. <laughs> what are you... Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, not can't do the purr. Uh, the thing about this area is that you have to, like, keep going. Why does this happen? Back where my grandparents came from, but long before they lived. Did they have Longest Night back then? They did! What did they call it? Longest Night. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Because the Earth's ax axis is tilted. So the days are never the same length. Now this area, you have to constantly be walking to the right, or you'll accidentally go back to the, uh, the bridge where the cat was. Oh, okay, that's a good omen, I'm sure. Crap almighty, yeah. <laughs> Just a skeleton. Just a random skeleton arm. These snowflakes, I, I really like these, these bigger snowflakes, because they're not just falling straight down, they're kind of falling down in 3D space, so you see them twisting and twirling. twirling. Ah, here you are. Pilgrim, hello you. I'm Father Patience Forget Not God. Wow, that is a name. It's certainly a mouthful. It was gifted me when I was ordained. What was your name before? Butchie Mud. Okay, that's a change. Do you wish to say a prayer at this? Shrine of St. Oraloni? Sweet beloved of the forest god? Let's show the way to the chasm and the red bell and into his holy mountain. You said that all without taking a breath. You want to pray or not? Okay, I'm going to do Adina's three guesses. You may recite when ready. Grace gracious tree lord, leafy and bark. The forest god is no tree. I thought that, you know, because of the forest, no tree can be a god. I'm not following this line of blood. Neither am I, Adina. So what can be a god? Not a tree, obviously. No, return when you have been granted knowledge. Exalted bear enthroned above. She is kinda right. I'll, you'll see later. Bear? I think that the forest god was maybe a giant bear. Forest god is no mere bear. Forest god is no bear at all. Oh. Go, 
to return when you have been granted knowledge. I can pray or not. Yeah, I'll use. Okay. Enchanted deer monster, huffy in the night. D deer monster? Okay, all I meant that one was a total guess. You clearly have not known our forest god. Listen, I'm not from around here. Go, return when you have been granted knowledge. Okay. The quest right now is to find out who the forest god is. Or at least, find out what the mouse wants you to say. Now you gotta always be watching the trees, cause you see stuff up there. Good spot for a snowman. It's a grave, but close enough. The very first time I did this, I forgot jumping was a part of the game, so I ran all the way around to make my snowman. And um, and <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. And what I ended up doing is I glitched out the snowman so bad. to look like this. Come on. It's supposed to look like this. Oh my god! What's happening? <gasps> Help! <laughs> Are you... Uh, is that the forest god? I mean a moon! Where do we go? I can't interact with it. But oh gosh. Now we get to give the snowman a face. Now one other thing I didn't really start in my first playthrough. You can use the right mouse button button uh, the right mouse button to move stuff around. No ghost. 
that she doesn't want to bring any more screaming ice babies to the world. Hmm, I think I need something special for this one. Otherwise, I'm just bringing more screaming forest ice babies into the world. And that's no good. Just 
gone? Did it completely glitch out? in a coffin? Uh, in the short term or in the long run? You never know. These are hard times, and these ones will take your life. You're still alive. You can get out pretty easily heading west. The problem is getting through to the east. Well, east is where I'm going, so... The trees don't move. They'll come future path. They bend to the powers of the god of this forest. I've never obtained the permission to pass. So this is why you're trying to sell me a coffee? I provide a service. Maybe now I will collect your remains and bring them back to your relations. Do you charge in advance for this? I can't really charge any other time. Oh, right. Well, I don't have any money. Heh <laughs> no coffee for you then. I think your ghosts will be quite unhappy. Whatever. What'd you say about my ghost? Those that died here will stay here. Your ghosts lie frozen until disturbed. Oh. All that's left of them are lumps in the snow and the things they brought with them. Gathering frost. Oh, what those ghosts could tell us in these hard times. Can I have a drink of something? No. Every time you open the door, you know. There we go. But yeah, he's that's what he was talking about. Those lumps of snow where I'm making the snowmen. Those are grapes. And you can use their last possessions. Oh, they're sticky. How's it going? Oh, what is going? Okay then. Look there! It's the cat! Um, hello? Oh, the music went out. Evening? Where is... Oh my god. You ain't Father Patience Forget Not God? No, he left. You're wearing his little hat! He gave me his hat. so official. I hate you. Wait, why do you need to hear this? It's not for me or the mouse. It's for the shrine. Hmm. I'm not gonna try it again. <laughs> In their wings. In their trees. Continue. All things die. Be at peace. Continue. Seesaw care. They're coming. Continue. The god of the forest, curious. Very nice. That's kind of like a little transportation thing. So those snow things are ghosts? Well, they have ghosts in them. Are there ghosts? What do you think? No, what do you think? Well, I think sometimes people stay with you long after they're gone. Is grandma a ghost now? <laughs> On the best days, yes. I don't want you to ever be a ghost. Oh, may I be a around to see your own kids? No, you won't. Well, may, that's not a very nice thing to say. No, I mean, I don't ever want kids ever. I want two big woolly barn cats and an old hound dog. And we'll all hell at the moon! Never change, May. That is an adorable idea. And you see there's that snowman making snow. But 
it's not time to make snowmen just yet. Hello? Hello? Hello, traveler. And who are you? Athena, an astronomer. I seek an audience with the forest god. Now, this is when I said that Adina was partially right. This was what I meant. This is God Tender Brown. He is a bear, but he's not the actual god. I'm sorry, Adina, but the forest god will not entertain you. Kings, emperors, ones of high import. Only those am I permitted to allow through. But I'm important. I'm an empress. I may wear a blindfold, but I can hear that you are alone. No empress would travel alone. This is highly improper. This is highly annoying. If you are indeed an empress, bring your entourage here, and we shall discuss the situation. Until then, have a pleasant longest time. Thanks. Now there was this one little easter egg I found during my first playthrough. And then she jumped off the cliff! What? No she didn't. Very quick. You can almost miss it. Now there's lots of snow up there, but I need to go collect some things first. Okay. I always have to be watching the trees. Because the items you need will be up there. The forest is constantly changing, and I'm like just there at the shrine, and I pass it again. That's how it works. Lights hidden in the branches. <laughs> okay, that's helpful. Bless you, my child. Oh, you were being sarcastic. Build 
my entourage. to do with connections. Like, these snowmen, uh, by uh, making ghosts with the snowmen, we can talk to them and help them pass on. So we got Fifi, and we got Clancy the dog, we got this horn player, and I have no idea what kind of bottle this is. Hello there. 
Honk. Okay, wow. Are you just a horn? Honk. Let's try this. Honk once for yes and twice for no. Got it? Honk. Are you just a horn ghost kind of thing? Honk, honk. Are you the person who played this horn? Honk. Listen, by bringing you back, I think you'll be able to get out of these woods and do whatever dead people do. Does that sound okay? Honk! Okay, great. Follow my lead. And the horn player. I haven't been able to find Thiefy scene. Uh, but if you know the way to do it, you can tell me and I'll make a extra video. Hello there. Ah, uh, what do you want? Sorry to bother you, but I need your help. Oh, crap. I died, didn't I? This is so typical. Listen, by me bringing you here, I think you'll be able to get out of these woods and do whatever dead people do. Is that something I want? I have no idea. Okay, whatever. Follow my lead. Hello there. Honk. Okay, wow, are you just the horn? Honk. Let's try this. Honk once for yes and twice for no, got it? Honk. Are you just a horn ghost kind of thing? Honk honk. Are you the person who played this horn? Honk. Listen, by bringing you back, I think you'll be able to get out of these woods and do whatever dead people do. Does that sound okay? Honk. Okay, great. Oh, my lead. Of course. Good. There we go. 
Hello? Hello, traveler. Travelers! We seek an audience with the forest god. I am God Tender Brown. Who are you now? I'm Empress Astra, and this is my Imperial Advisor, Eamon. And my Herald, um... Herald. Uh... Onk! Is that a gluten horn? A what now? I really don't think it's supposed to be Adina saying that. But what a coincidence. What? <laughs> no, seriously, what? Blue horns hold the curse of eventual death for all who play them. Really? An extreme misfortune for all who hear them. Honk. Shocking. Uh, you're kidding, right? Or, but you're still alive? The dread curse of the balloon horn is the ever-present shadow of death. And one day, perhaps tomorrow, perhaps when you are old, it would find you. That's just... regular death. It's not really a curse in the classic sense. It kills you. How much worse could it be? <laughs> it's how... It's how you normally... <laughs> Eventually! Were you expecting to live forever before you played the horn? Who knows? Nothing is certain. Someday we must all hear the horn. We who have heard the horn. God tender, may we bring our cares and curses to the forest god. We all share a doom. A horn doom. How can I deny my doom mates? Thank you, God tender. Allow me! Cross on to the holy mountain. Okay, and this one is Fifi and the bottle guy. Hello? Hello, traveler. Travelers! We seek an audience with the forest god. I am God Tender Brown. Who are you now? I'm Empress Astra. This is my Imperial Advisor, Eamon. Hello, hello! And our Archbishop Williams. Hello! We have traveled long through the night to be here. May we pass through? Empress Astra, you say? I don't believe I am familiar with your Imperial Majesty. We come from far away beyond the Western Ocean. My father was from over the Western Ocean. Is it? I thought I recognized that voice. Daddy! Uh, no, he's not your father. Daddy's come back. Um, Archbishop Williams, will you cancel this confused man? Why are you so ready to assume a stranger as your father? It seems there's something there you need to know with. Ever since Daddy got kicked in the head by that horse, you know what now? Daddy was always a trickster, so maybe he isn't dead after all, and this is just the longest joke he ever pulled. I'm right there with you, Adina. I don't understand what's going on either. <laughs> That's commitment. But you're right. And all these years of waiting and hoping and hating all horses, I feel like we've all learned something tonight. Bless you, my children. May we pass? You're a wise man, Archbishop Williams. And you are an insightful in Empress, Astra. You may pass. Thank you, God Tender. Allow me. Cross up to the Holy Mount. But then he won't let you pass. Wait! Yes? I'm truly sorry, but you cannot see the forest god this long as night. Why not? I... Um, we have already come so far for an audience. The truth is, and you must keep this a secret, but... But... The forest god is sick. They are old and dying, and they cannot see you tonight. It might upset them, and we can't risk that. 
sick. Oh, how can a god be dying? I do not pretend to know the ways of such things. If only I knew what was happening. We got timbers are cast with caring for the forest god. With this, this death, we have never seen its like. Not in the 700 years of records kept since St. Cecil began tending God. Oh no. We thought when the peace came, all would be well. Peace. Centuries of conflict with her have weakened them. And not long after, they became ill. Her? Do you mean the Huncher? Do not say her name here. My heart is broken. My God is dying. I don't know what my life would be without them. I'm sorry, God Tender. There is nothing you can do, Empress. As representative of the Forest Throne, I say that no power of the Forest God shall buy your way as long as not. As for her, you are at the mercy of the most dangerous creature in the forest. Thank you, God Tender Brown. Go and take a blessing with you. child, I'm just talking. You'll never find her hollow without something to help you, and I never found out what it was. Thanks anyway. Be careful. You're getting into something here. seen this before, but what I believe the king and his uh, entourage are using is called a hand of glory, 
which evidently in medieval times it was like it was this preserved hand of uh, a hanged man, and uh, it would be used as by thieves with like is like dark magic and stuff, and thieves would use it to sneak into places and unlock locked doors. According to TV tropes, you know, it's a big enough trope to get its own page, but I've never seen it before, I guess. <laughs> so it's like made to hold a candle or it would be five candles because of fingers, which is you. <laughs> but uh, just like uh, the king said it's, uh, and his people said, it will let you into the Hunter's Hollow because it unlocks... Uh, doors that normally couldn't be opened. So is this your land? I'm just saying because you're a king and all. I may be a king. You may be. But there are kings. God. Yes, yes. Oh. And as king, I granted these lands to bear Lopsy. She sure did die. Sure did. Lopsy matters got all weird now. Sure has. Last spring travelers saw this hell thing come out of the bog there. Well, let's head out. My school men, miles to go. Beautiful forest, don't you think? Brambles. Yes, that is an up, uh, an arm up there on the windmill. Who's that walking on my porch? Hello? Oh, girl, it's all over now. And you have to jump. Because otherwise we'll just go back upstairs. There are old bodies in the north. Where the ground never thaws. Frozen in the dark nights for millennia. In some of them there is a sickness against which we are no longer strong. Someday the earth will warm and the ice will melt. And that sickness will finish the work on us. And 
that began when we were first born. Yeah, that is a way to introduce yourself to somebody. Wow. Kid, will you please stop that talking? Sorry if I interrupted something. I think you know the answer. You just showed up. Ugh, we all just show up. Staying is the problem. But you won't have to worry about that. Will you? Is that an extremely vague threat? Er, vague threat? Oh, I'll get specific with you, kid. I'm going to bury your pieces in a lonely hollow. Not even bury them. I didn't bury the last one. And she did sure. Your family will never find you. Oh no, not that. Is this your normal dynamic? Is this your normal dynamic? This is the dynamic of everything. So different for her. They didn't even give you a name back to Stallmill, did they, kid? Just kid! Excuse me, the full name was Stallmill, kid. Well, now you're just kid. They didn't name you? You never realized how little and how much you need a name. And now they refuse you yours. Huh. I'm sorry to keep staring us back at this. But I must reach the prison. When you're out there tonight, freezing, will you look for my ring? What? Something down in the brambles. I can never see it. I found your ring last week. Oh, so you did. It's my second most prized possession. I keep the most prized in a shrine. So precious is it to me. It's so painful. You have to keep the precious and I feel like we keep getting off track here. I can smell the forest got glistening on you. If you knew anything you'd watch until it came off with your skin. Ow! When you leave, you're going down into the brambles like all the others. When I have to go outside to fix the weather, because the weather bank got knocked around again. It's a really, a really stupid system you have going there. When I go out to do that, I'll look out on the hollow, and nothing will be stirring. And that will be what happened to you. Why don't you just kill me now then? Because of that smell. Are you anyway? I'm an astronomer, former apprentice. Oh, honey, all those stars in your head? They will go out like candles tonight. What are you? The forest god isn't really a god. I am twice their size. I am twice as real. Honestly, whoever you are, even you're twice as real as they are. Adina. Astra. A ridiculous name you named yourself, I can tell. Just the last part. Now what would make a little girl change her last name? Nothing you'd understand. You don't know a thing about it. I came from somewhere. That's it, the woman before me. And we found the cabin. And I fed the oven. And we survived. And then I survived. And the quote between the forest god the quarrel with the forest god went on for centuries, until it ended quite recently. Well, shut it, kid. I swear, if I wasn't physically present here, she'd talk about anything. You're a witch? What is a witch? You mean the women in the woods? A man in the woods is a hermit, or a woodsman, or a husband. They didn't have a name for women who weren't where they should be. 
So they stole a name they feared and hated and pressed it onto it. Onto you, the word they use for girls like me is kidnapped. This one, every day, I swear. I'll do chores. That's ass, that's mail. Why not send her back where she came from? That is the one question to which I have no answer. We're done talking. I'm sorry, Adina Astra. I know you want to dip, but I've taken that future from you. And it's fine now. And you can't take it back. do this whole long complicated thing uh, some of that weird snow is way up in the trees need a good strong wind ah just need to control the wind is all simple yeah she just says the same thing Now the only way to control the wind right now is to mess with that weather vane. But the hunter won't be so happy if you do that. Come on. That arm. to die in here tonight. I'm just not. I need to see what's in this hollow. I need to get into that house. Okay, let's go. anything just yet. I need something special for this. Oh god, I have to get back into that house. This is the worst longest night ever. Get the weather thing going. Here she comes. Get down into the brambles. Damn squirrels won't take a break. North wind, black wind, wolf in the dark. I like this weather never behaves. I can see the whole damn thing every time. Oh my god, 
I thought you were... I'm going to survive. Nobody who would know I'm gone is anyone I'd want to find me. I need to go. Jesse, <laughs> you're freezing in the brambles tonight. So I managed to do it. So I can make the uh, new snow ghost. This one's really sad. mouth so there we go what no no No! What is this? Oh, oh God, no. Girl, what have you done? You, you watched it happen? You watched. It wasn't me. It wasn't me! It was this place! It was the oven. It was what you became. <laughs> I didn't get to choose what happened to me. I was so cold. I was so afraid. I had to survive. And I did not. What is this? Who are you? Don't you dare speak, you waste of a girl. I was her twin. We fled into the woods, identical in all things, except one. When she pulled my body from the water, the only part of me she kept was the tattoo. <laughs> I kept it close to me all down the centuries. I believed in some idea of you that is as long dead as I am now. But you survived. I... I... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this. Get out. I'm sorry. I never meant to. Get out! Yeah, I'm right there with you, Meg. I'm not entirely sure what just happened either. Yes, May? What is this story about? What do you want it to be about? If I get to choose what it's about, it's not about anything. Ah, oh, that's quite a statement. I'm really smart. Well, you came up with that plan to rob banks, so clearly you're onto something. I want to know what this is about. I think you have to figure that out on your own. I don't like that. Of how the lake 
was so deep. It went down to the bay, and the dead came to the surface and spoke with the living. And how it was so black that it ate the moon's reflection, and how the moon made jealous commits the sun to turn its back on the lake so it would be for forever frozen. That is why the dead may be found beneath the ice, for they can no longer leave those waters. Did any of that happen? You're the one going there. You tell me. Hey there. Are you okay? I didn't have a chance to ask about you and how you got here. I think I'm gone. I can hardly hear you. Oh. Yes. Thank you so much. You saved my life, Legend Teller. I was a real one, you know. It was real to me. My sister in the walls. Hello? Goodbye. So this part is basically wrapping up loose ends before you get to the ending. You're a fraud! Why, hello! Nice of you to stop by. There are frozen dead people all over these woods. I've talked to half a dozen of them tonight alone. Either no one takes you up on this coffin business, or you never follow through. So which is it? Huh? You talk to ghosts? Yeah, a whole bunch. I think you got lost and cold and started talking to the snow. No, I've been all the... Uh, all the way from the forest god's mountain to the hunter's hollow, for God's sake. Yeah, here you are, back in my cabin, not more than an hour after you last left. Letting the heat out and the cold in. Busy night for you. Oh, go to hell. Ah, <laughs> that was warm at least. Good night. Yeah, he's not gonna let me. skeleton arm and stoves, and their wings and their trees all things die, be at peace, so self care, they are coming, out of the forest camp. gone, huh? I hope you're going someplace better. Thanks. And that's why I said I don't know their name. I wish Shotcut had more transitions. Maybe I could download some. It's that Bird Knight's helmet. Oh no, poor Stevenson. Looks like this thing took a beating from something huge, so... I wonder if there's a head in there. Not checking. It's like somebody ran out of luck. Why wouldn't you check? I would. So would I. If I ever find a body part on the ground, I am gonna poke it with a stick. Can't argue with you there. Tender Brown. Empress, it's so late. Why are you still here? Listen, this is very important. I know why your god is dying. What? You see, I saw... No, you must tell it to them. What? Why? I am not worthy of hearing of their weaknesses. I don't deserve the peace I have found here, and I must honor them as best as my frail self will allow. It's really something. 
come with me now. Approach them with humility. I will wait here. Willow wisps? Oh, you can hear it breathing down there. Hello? Are you there? You've come late. You are no empress. Centuries have passed since I spoke to one so small and unimportant. It is my right to kill you. I didn't know that. Accept it. Death is happening always. Why should I accept it? It is the natural way. Funny how you decided that the way that allows you to kill me is the natural one. Burr. You're not a god. You're just a big animal. They call me a god. So it's like antlers. But then they got leaves on them. It's a big owl. Oh, I had trouble seeing it the first time. Like, here's the back. And here's the wing. And the chest. They call me a god. So I'm god enough. I can't. Ugh. Tell me what was so important to say to me that you would give up your life. I know what you are dying. I know what you are sick. Brr. Sickness cannot touch me. <coughs> Sorry about that. You don't have a sickness, but you are dying. Funny, now that it's happening to you, death isn't so easy to accept, huh? And it was God Tender Brown who told you I was weak. Useless. Worthless. I will find use for him. He will feed the forest. The trees will find more than him. No. God Tender Brown is a good man. He is kind and curious and warm. Even while standing out in the cold for you. He thinks he doesn't deserve you, but you don't deserve him, and I'd rather you die, never knowing what happened to you, than have you touch one hair on his head, or betray his devotion. Why are we sick? Promise Brown will be safe. I promise on the taiga, endless. I promise on myself. I promise on the ten million mile forest. Good. Now swear on what is holy to you. I swear on the stars. If that is what gives you hope, fine. Now speak. The only reason I came here is because of God Tender Brown's sadness and his love for you. But you won't survive, and now I want you to know that. Speak! The hunter poisoned you. Obviously. Brrrr. There was peace after... After hundreds of years, I know. But why? She's a survivor. It appears you won't be. Then neither shall she. Ugh. You big dumb animal. Brrrr. an angry bird I wasn't making a reference with that they're gone they'll be back they always are good tender yes Empress you're a good man thank you I can only hope to be good hope is good whatever happens please don't lose that I wish you blessings on your journey you as well Happy longest night. Happy longest night to you. I'm getting sleepy, Granddad. We're almost done, May. Okay, good. I like this story a lot. I knew you would. You can rob banks with me anytime. 
I just randomly- there it goes! It's, it is pretty funny to just see the snowballs uh, land after I've accidentally thrown them. Listen to me. Oh, please, child. Until an hour ago, I was younger than you, but now I am far, far older. You were kind to me, and I will give you this kindness in return. We won't meet again. Now she's become the hunter. Hey, cat. Figured I'd see you here. You figured right. You figured wrong. How's that? I didn't die in there. So you didn't. Then again, I never died in there either. So pardon me if I'm not overly impressed. You did it once. You are such an ass. You certainly caused a lot of trouble in the night. I didn't mean to. Just passing through. Isn't that always the way? So who are you, really? Pardon? You some magical cat, cat god, cat wizard, something? I'm just a cat. I live near the woods. I like shiny things. And I listen. Oh. Your turn. Who are you? I'm an astronomer. Er. I'm an astronomer. I'm here because there's something missing in the sky. And this is where I'll find it. Are you sure? At this point, I'm so exhausted and cold that I can't afford to not be sure. It's either very sad or very beautiful. It's very true. I'm freezing. Brr. Brr. Oh, I did it a little bit. I need to get going. The hunter, her child, the forest god. Those aren't your business. I know. Leave all of that here. You were in their forest. I'm an astronomer. It may be their forest, but it's under my sky. Huh, <laughs> I bet that sounded great in your head. It sounded great when I said it, ass cat. Goodbye, Adina the astronomer. Good luck. Goodbye, cat. Happy not happy longest night. I need just purrs again if you talk to him. But I mean the frozen lake is gorgeous. 
And after a moment, she'll start walking by herself. There we go. You know, I doubted you would make it. A promise is a promise. I was home. Same as ever. Colder now, of course. The sheep shut down the 5th Street Bridge again on Longest Night Eve. <laughs> the farmers were there all day trying to pull them off. Have they figured out why they keep doing that? No one has a clue. Hmm. I know you can't stay long. I can't, so ask. Okay, did you find the ghost star? I did, my first night dead. It's there. a bit of its reflection down there. Oh my god. Something like that. Will you remember where that is? Yes. It's funny. What is? It's always been there. I just had no way of seeing still can't, not really. But you can chart where it is. That's something at least. Wow. I feel like just a few feet away, there's this thing, bigger than I can think about, burning away, exploding. And between us is this sheet of black. When I think about it, I feel like I'm going to overflow. I think about this a lot these days. We devote ourselves to something we barely understand. Something we can never touch. We give it a name, and we give ourselves a name for doing so. All of it creates this connection. And that connection that becomes the thing we can touch. You appreciate those connections even more after you've died. I'm gonna miss you all over again now. Well, on the bright side, you've got a star out of it. That's something, at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. Yeah. Goodbye, astronomer. Goodbye, astronomer. The end. What constellation was it? No one knows. It's lost to history. Did this really happen? Does it matter if it really happened? I think it does. Well, we'll never know, but hearing it happen to you. Just like playing, watching somebody play this game, and that's something. Something, something, something. I want to find that constellation. Go outside some night and find it. And tell me where it is, okay? You look tuckered out, kid. I am. I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Aww. such a beautiful game. I mean, 
and it's got amazing, an amazing art style and the lovely music. Show all your all the snowmen you made. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, my name is Brushfire, and if you have any suggestions for me, I would be glad to hear it. I am play, uh, planning on playing the other Night in the Woods supplemental game, and I do have a few other games lined up that I plan on playing as well. Till then, see you later!